It's hotter, like all the time. Um, but not, not a whole lot. And then I got down there, I was like, wow, this is, this is a lot different. How does this affect you going on? To your team now, because this is a, a, a life experience that you know you can you can learn and you can become a, b a better leader, a better person. How does this affect you going on with the team? Um, taking everything like I said before, not taking things for granted. We're not you know, scholarships, all that stuff, all the stuff we get, the big arena, all the nice shoes. Taking useful advantage of it. Some people need those opportunities. What's the opportunity to just play in front of people? You know? Just have fun with this game we play and not pay for school is a huge. Uh, sorry about that. One thing I wanted to ask you was, was there a specific child that left an impact on you that you today still remember their name, remember their story, uh, yeah, and there motivates were, you? There were a couple of them at the one, just, uh, one school. Uh, this kid, Antoine, he was, he was the oldest kid in the school, and you could tell that he kind of played the big brother, father role to kind of all the other kids. So he was you know, smart, he you know, spoke the best English. Obviously, he was you know, years ahead of uh, all the other kids, but he just knew he was so mature. I mean, everything, you could just have a conversation with him. His accent wasn't super thick, but he just, you could tell he kind of had all the other kids kind of under control, kind of. He was like the, the big brother that he kept everybody in check. When you got back home, and I'm sure there as well, did it, did it upset you? Did it bother you? The fact that you know the kids there, you know, one pair of shoes maybe a few years, and if they outgrew them, who yeah, I mean, it's just it's, it's so weird just because I, I look at my locker and I have like twelve different shoes. And it's just like and you can't you can't almost say quote unquote save everyone, but you, know, you can change a couple of their lives. That's just huge. You know, I was upset, I was upset a little bit. Like, why do we get all these nice things? But as long as you can change and affect somebody's life in a positive way, it kind of makes it all worth it. So when you go through that experience, how do you think it shapes your message? Because now you're an upperclassman, and I, you're, you're a team leader now at Ohio State. How does it affect the way that you communicate with your younger teammates about appreciating what they have? This is exactly that. Just communicate. Just telling them, hey, look, I just did this. You know, they didn't have all these nice things. I don't want to hear you complaining about, you know, our fridge not being stocked to the brim with Gatorade. Or that we didn't get the new pair of LeBrons today. We're gonna get them eventually. Don't, don't, you know, be you know, mad about it. Take what we have, deal with it. It's better than not even just you know over there. A lot of schools and you know. All the other divisional schools are going to be good too. So, no, I don't want to hear all that kind of thing anymore. Thanks, bud. Talking about uh, Antoine, how old was he? 16. Okay. Did you encounter anybody that knew who you were? No. Yeah. I mean, they, they can tell just because, like, okay, I'm tall, so they assume I play basketball. Billy and Rick Horn are strong, so they assume they played uh, football. Uh, to the big like, organized the sports we play. Did, did you play any basketball when you were there? Kids were there were any. There were hoops where they didn't have balls. Or they would use, they would use their soccer ball. And soccer is like that number one sport. Right. So they would mostly yeah. play soccer. Did you play some soccer? I tried. Yeah. So were, they, were they better than you? Way better. The little kids <laughs> were way better than you. All of them. Kid, have you been out of the country before this? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I went to the Bahamas uh, my freshman year. And then, yeah. yeah. So I, was, I just asked Raekwon, and like, Obviously, doing charitable work has a has a mark on you, but just in general, experiencing other cultures outside of this country in any capacity, what kind of benefit does that have for you guys? As you, I'm just good to gain knowledge about other you know, other cultures. It's like the food they eat. Um, they're really they're really just they're all nice people. You know, you, you, you say when you're here and you go to different cities, how like you know, certain cities are meaner, but meaner. But I feel like the whole country just has a nice you know vibe. You know, they, some of them seem really really happy with what they have. They're happy with what they have and material things we have way more, but they just seem more happy. They seem, you know, kind of at ease. Is there like one thing when you got back that you like had to have, like Chipotle or something like that? Yeah, in the airport in Atlanta, we like, Billy looked beforehand where the Chipotle was, so we asked him, we were like, it's in gate D, D4. <laughs> like he knew exactly where it was. Um, but I got, like, I got Charlie's and the Chipotle. And I got back here and I got Wendy's. <laughs> when did you decide